Ruhlman, a California invader trained by Bobby Frankel, gained national attention by winning the El Camino Real Derby in sensational time. They're both in Florida now for a shot at the Derby. Making it even tougher is John Beach, son of a trainer and well-connected with much of racing's aristocracy. He's tried a few different horses this season and has decided his best chance lies with Brian Stein, who finished well but didn't win the Fountain of Youth Stakes three weeks earlier. This is the theme of our first long-form video, the 1988 Florida Series, One Last Run for Woody. That's next, right here on... Tellier's Thoroughbred Racing Review, for the best of horse racing history on YouTube. A giant orchid horseshoe created by the exotic gardens is readied in the infield, signaling the nearness of the classic race, and all eyes turn to the paddock. Even experienced trainers at the top of their profession don't bother to hide their tension. They'll personally attend to each task at hand, leaving not the slightest detail to chance. They'll watch each other like hawks, and will discuss every possible strategy, and even some tactics with their jockeys. They'll miss nothing. Owners and partners are consulted and well-wishers are acknowledged. Knowing eyes look quickly over every ounce of opposing horse flesh. Many of the trainers have made jockey changes. Some have not. At any rate, riders up. Number one is twice too many with Gary Bain. Number two is sorry about that and Jose Santos. Number three, Rollman with Pat Day. Number four is Brian Stein, Randy Romero in the saddle. Number five is Frosty the Snowman and Craig Perret. Number six, Bowie and Early Fire. Seven, Evening Chris and Mike Gonzalez. Number eight, Notebook with Lafitte Pink Eye. Number nine is post-time favorite 49er and Eddie Maple. And lastly, number 10, Cherokee Colony and Jorge Velasquez. They're on the track for the running of the 1988 Florida Derby. The patrons will bet nearly $6 million today, a Florida record. They're in the gate. They're up and running in the 37th Florida Derby. From the outside, 49er goes up to get the early pace. Notebook right with them along the cross to the snowman. Twice to many and rule, man. They're closely bunched. Then we come back to Cherokee Colony. Bowie, sorry about that. Ryan time and evening Chris. They sprint around the clubhouse turn. 49er takes the lead, has it by a length. Notebook just a length off the leader. Twice too many into the rail is third. Frosty the Snowman is fourth. Cherokee Colony on the outside fifth. Rule man between horses six. Length and a half. Bowie seven. Two lengths. Sorry about that. Eight. Then there's seven lengths back. The Bryan's time and evening Chris. They went the quarter in a good 23 flat. They're midway up the back stretch. 49er sets the pace. Three parts of a length. Notebook right there with 49er a length back. There goes Ruhlman, two and a half back third. Cherokee Colony in contention on the outside is fourth. A length, Bowie fifth, twice too many six. Sorry about that seventh. Frosty the snowman face, evening Chris and Brian's time. The half 46 and three. They move around the turn. 49er digging in, holding it a length. No foot second. Cherokee Colony begins to make a bit of the outside third. Two and a half length back. Bowie is fourth. Sorry about that fifth. Ruhlman in on the rail sixth. Length and a half, Ryan's time seven. The three quarters, a fast 110 and four. Here they come, the top of the stretch. 49er digging in. Cherokee Colony moving up on the outside. Velasquez going to work on Cherokee Colony, trying to catch the front runner. And out of the pack from the outside, here comes Ryan's time. Ryan's time with Randy Romero is flying up after 49er. They come down to the wire on the outside, Ryan's time, 49er. Their nose is apart. Ryan's time, a nose at the wire. 49er second, no third, with In an upset victory, Brian's time edges 49er to become the 1988 Florida Derby champion. His name will stand beside other Florida Derby champions who have gone on to win 14 Kentucky Derbies, 15 Preaknesses, and 10 Belmonts. He's won a classic contest under tremendous pressure. The winner's circle ceremonies presided over by Gulfstream President Douglas Don are ample testimony that Brian's time has won the 1988 Florida Derby in the tradition of a champion.
where the best in historic horse racing action is Thoroughbred Racing Review. Subscribe on YouTube and read the rest of the story on Facebook. Subscribe now.